We hear nothing on this floor today but a defense of the status quo. 22% increase in state government while everyone else suffers. You want to talk about defending the middle class? $4 billion in tax increases is what your side wants, but we don't see it. We don't see that solution because you'd be too embarrassed to bring it up in front of Minnesotans who are struggling and suffering and trying to get by. And the class warfare that Representative Franson correctly pointed to is on full display. The top 20 percent wage earners in the state of Minnesota, most of whom are small businesses, are paying over half of all taxes and 75 percent of all income taxes, while the bottom 20 percent pays nothing and receives millions back in taxable refund or creditable refunds. Now, I'm not the one bringing this up. Our side isn't the one bringing this up. Your own governor, Governor Dayton, who Representative Winkler pointed out is there defending, defending the middle class, defending the workers of the state, he himself said, I want to tap the ingenuity of state government workers to help us rein in government spending and do government better. And that's exactly what we're doing with this bill, members. We are giving the state workers the people who do these services, the opportunity to say, here it is. You need to live with the same reality as all other Minnesotans, and we're going to ask for your ingenuity. We're going to ask for your creativity, your expertise, your ability to manage that difference.